Hey guys, Alex here from Top Tennis Training and today I wanted to share some thoughts with you but also get your opinion on something that's been in the back of my mind now for quite a while. I'm sure, like me, many of you watched the Rafa Nadal final against Medvedev, the epic comeback in five sets. At 35, Rafa is still making history and still playing amazing tennis. Now, I was lucky enough to be watching the match and streaming it for our other channel, Love Tennis, and I couldn't help but feel so inspired after the match that I, it just made me want to go out there and start competing again. So here's my thinking. I want to get back out on court and see where it takes me. Now previously I have played pro, I was British number 4 and 260 in the world. But unfortunately I had a big setback as I had a knee injury which forced me to retire after two knee surgeries. Currently I can't exactly say I'm at my fittest or that I've been playing regularly so it'd be quite the personal challenge. What do you think? At 35 is it too late to try and compete or can experience and hard work get me there? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So a little update for you guys, I have decided to just go and play, forget about waiting, just gonna go out there and hit some balls. So I just called a friend of mine who works in a club not too far away, he's got a court for us in half an hour, so I'm gonna go and get myself ready, uh, get out on court and hopefully uh, take you guys on court with me for my uh, first training, uh, well, first training of the year actually. Uh, in the car now, about to set off, quite excited. Uh, it's like when you've been kept back from uh, from the court for so long, you just want to get out there. So I'm excited to go. I'm ready to go. Hopefully I don't get injured on the first day. But uh, wow, can't believe I'm doing it. So being organized me, I've forgotten the SD card for my camera. So I'm going to use my phone for a bit. We've already hit down the middle. Going to do a few drills, cross court, forehand to forehand. Feeling great at the moment. It's always that time when you come back and played. But let's see how it goes. So here I'm trying to get good height over the net, trying to stay consistent and getting good rhythm on the shot. So I'm breathing out with every shot that I hit and I'm trying to get good timing on the ball. So one thing that goes when you haven't played for a while is your timing. So I'm trying to get a good contact point in front of my body, nicely to the side. I'm trying to space myself with my movement and also using the legs and the body rotation to drive through the shot and hit every ball into the direction I want it to go. Now having the targets there obviously helps because it gives you something to aim for and it can also show you the quality of your shot. Now it's important that you stay as loose and relaxed as possible on your strokes, especially if you haven't played for a while, by tensing and going for it too much you risk injury and also the quality of your shot will drop. You will actually get a lot more acceleration out of your shots by relaxing your hand and letting the racket do the work for you, so let it go as you're hitting. Now I'm also trying to recover after every shot, so a few steps back into the middle after I hit it, that recovery step not only works on my fitness, but also makes it as realistic as possible to a real life rally scenario you will face in matches. <laughs> no targets hit, and I just remembered how tough training is. <sighs> Let's try on the backhand side. This should be interesting. Oh. Now it's the same thing on the backhand side. 
I'm trying to get good height over the net, use the legs to drive through the ball and stay loose and breathe through contact. I'm using my left hand on the backswing to make sure that the take back is deep but also keeping that racket head above my hand in order to give it the space to accelerate into the ball. Whenever possible, I'm trying to transfer my body weight into the shot. So I'm using my legs to transfer from my back foot to my front foot. This gives me easy power and makes the ball bounce up into my opponent on the other side. It also helps me prevent any injuries. So uh, my camera died in that hitting session. I felt actually pretty good uh, hitting the ball. Um, I did end up saying, let's play some points. Let's play a set. Felt inspired. I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Feel great. It's going to be a great match. It was two all. And then I lost four games in a row. I lost 6-2. Got absolutely chopped. Feel absolutely horrendous now. I was so positive, feeling so good. And I, I literally felt embarrassed out there. Those four games, uh, it's amazing how different practice is to matches. And if you haven't played, how much worse it feels when you're when you're out there. Like I started missing, and I almost didn't have a way to counter that. How do you come back? What do you do? I didn't have a plan A, plan B. At the beginning, I came out kind of guns blazing, hitting everything great. A few balls hit hit a few winners, and then the moment I started missing my whole game just fell apart it's i don't know how many of you guys have felt that but i felt like before if i started feeling that on the court i'd have something to lean back on so i'd you know get the ball in try and get some height get some more spin like get into some longer rallies but i just had nothing out there like i tried to do that and i'd drop the ball short and he'd put away the ball or he'd come forward and i couldn't pass him or the ball just felt a bit too far out of reach and i then push myself i just feel gutted like I know I shouldn't feel like that. I know I should feel more like expected that I'm not going to play great tennis straight away. But I just, I thought I'd be better than that. And uh, it's annoying that I wasn't able to show you that my 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 battery ran out on the phone, so uh, I couldn't record uh, the the session for you. It would have been great for you guys to see that set, or maybe not. Actually, it'd be a bit embarrassing, but. Anyway, hopefully that now gives me a bit of motivation to come back and uh, work on my fitness a bit. I felt slow out there, felt sluggish, so maybe if I get a little bit stronger, uh, come out the blocks a little bit faster after the serve, and just get maybe hit a few more times before I play another set. I don't know, but back to the drawing board for me, guys, and uh, yeah, painful. <laughs>